Hi, my name is Chris from www.idtheft.hq.com. Today we're going to take a look at what is a Trojan horse virus, and specifically four ways that Trojans work to compromise your online safety. Now we all probably have heard of Trojans before, but do you really understand what they are and what potential damage they can do to your computer? Well, to better understand Trojans, first of all, we need to step back in time. So one day, the Greeks, the ancient Greeks, had a stroke of genius. They've been at war with the Trojans for some time, so they decide to wheel up a ginormous wooden horse up to the gates of Troy. Now the Trojans, in a momentary lapse of judgment, decide that this is a victory gift and promptly wheel the Trojan horse in amongst much pomp and splendor. Of course, it's not until that evening when dozens of stiff, tired, but very angry Greek soldiers jump out of the horse's belly and begin to raise the city. And of course, you've probably heard the story. It's the same one why Troy isn't represented on the UN round table anymore. So what has this all got to do with computer Trojans? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first thing about Trojans is that they're masters of disguise. So here's your computer and the internet, and you've got a good backwards and forwards relationship with it. Now because you're a safe internet user, you've no doubt got a firewall sitting between your computer and the internet to protect you from unwanted programs. And normally it does a great job. A suspicious program turns up, and the firewall sends it packing. But Trojans are very good at looking like legitimate programs to your computer's operating systems. So this Trojan cleverly disguises itself as a nice cute flower. And of course your firewall thinks, well what could a nice cute flower possibly ever do to my PC? So it allows you to uh, download the, um, the Trojan and install it on your computer. Now Trojans in themselves aren't dangerous, but what they do is they release payloads, which we'll take in just a moment. Groups of nasty malware applications that, well, yeah, you know the story. So what are these payloads that we're talking about? Well first of all, a Trojan horse in and of itself isn't dangerous at all. It's just a vessel for other programs to be carried in. So they can vary, but you most commonly find that keyloggers and spyware are bundled up with Trojans, meaning that remote third parties somewhere on the internet can, can spy on your usernames, your browsing history, and even your passwords. Second of all, Trojans almost, almost always contain some sort of adware very, very profitable to their owners. We'll take a look at this in a little while. And they'll often carry some way of replicating themselves, such as a worm, which uses your email contact list to spread itself out amongst your friends, family, and colleague. Which is really where our third way that Trojans come to compromise our online safety come from. Here's Mr. Malware here. Now, Mr. Malware infects a computer. Well, let's call it your computer. Your computer infects four computers, four computers infect more computers. Now what Mr. Malware has done is included a clever piece of program that allows each one of these PCs to be remotely controlled by them. Now really it's up to Mr. Malware to decide what he wants to do with this newfound control. Commonly it's to send spam out to hundreds and millions of people across the world without your knowledge. But it could also be to use your computer to host illegal content on the internet. Bad news for you, very profitable for them. Of course, it's all about the money for Mr. Malware. Remember Mr. Malware and his army of computers? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Well, Mr. Malware has also signed up for an advertising program that pays him a few cents for every time one of his adverts is displayed to one PC. So what does Mr. Malware do? Well, he bundles up adware with the Trojan, which allows annoying pop-up adverts to be displayed every time you connect to the internet. Very annoying for you, but because he's getting paid for every view, very profitable for Mr. Malware. 
So let's take a quick recap of the four ways that Trojans work to compromise your online safety. First of all, Trojans pretend to be legitimate programs, fooling your operating systems into allowing them to be downloaded and installed onto your computer. Second of all, Trojans carry payloads of various malware programs, including keyloggers, spyware, adware, worms and viruses. Trojans can also um, be used to allow remote third-party access of your PC by a cyber crook somewhere on the internet. And Trojans can also infect your PC with adware, pestering you with countless pop-up ads every time you connect to the net. So how do you protect yourself from Trojans? Well, there's a lot of different safe browsing habits that we could go into, but the easiest way is just by using and installing a good anti-malware tool. Now you have to be careful, there are a lot of bogus ones out there. But if you head over to the main website, www.idtheftHQ.com, we'll give you a free download of the scanner that we use and recommend to protect our computers from Trojans and other pieces of malware. While you're at the site, make sure you sign up for the mailing list as well. I'd like to give you access to five secret security tools, the same ones that the pros use to keep their online lives safe and their computers malware-free. Hope to see you at the site. But for now, cheers and safe surfing.